What's up guys, Shane starts here with Droid Modern X. Google is expected to announce the Pixel and Pixel XL made by HTC on October 4th. These phones are expected to be a little different from the Nexus lineup that we're used to. We should get a bit of a more premium experience competing with flagship devices like those from Apple and Samsung. The actual launcher for these devices was leaked today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to install the Pixel launcher on any Android device. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll notice about the Pixel launcher that's different from the standard stock launcher on Google devices is there's no longer a static Google search bar. Instead, you have just this little Google logo. If you click it once, that's going to open up the Google search. If you click on the G, that's gonna launch Google Now. From there, you can view your Google Now cards or do simple voice searches. Another thing you'll notice here is that there is no app drawer, or at least there's not an app drawer that you can click. Instead, you'll swipe up to reveal the app drawer and swipe down to dismiss the app drawer. Your applications are listed in alphabetical order, and you can do a quick search up top here for any application. And then they also include some of your most recently used applications. The folders are a little bit different here too. You'll notice that they're just a circle with a view of what is contained inside the folder. If you click, the folder, it reveals all of the applications within. Of course, up top here, you also have a calendar. Installing the Pixel Launcher on any Android device is super easy and you don't have to be rooted to do it. All you have to do is head to the link in the description and you'll pick up two applications. So I'll go into my file manager and you're looking for the Nexus Launcher pre-built application and also the Wallpaper Picker Google pre-built application. Then you'll just simply install these. Now it will ask if you want to enable unknown sources. If it doesn't pop up asking for unknown sources, you would simply go to your settings, security, and then you would go down and check unknown sources. Once unknown sources is checked, you go into your file manager of choice, go ahead and install the pixel launcher, and then install the wallpaper picker. Once both applications are installed, You'll click the home button. It will ask you if you want to choose your current launcher or the new Pixel launcher. Go ahead and choose the Pixel launcher and then choose always. Okay, and then with that wallpaper picker, you're gonna have some Google wallpapers as well. All right guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidMotorX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.